Good morning. I hope everyone's having a great day. As you can see, it's lightly snowing outside. It's cold and I'm counting the days for spring. You know, so many of us, not only do we need more sunlight, but we also need vitamin D. And many of us are running indoors to tanning boots. But what I'm about to tell you, you may think twice. Nearly 70,000 people in the U.S. were diagnosed with melanoma in 2009, and more than 8,000 died from the disease. But the risk of melanoma was much higher among frequent and long-term indoor tanners. After hearing all that, I may have a healthier alternative. A spray sheet airbrush tan is better than a tan in a tanning bed because it is safe. Well, the main ingredient in spray tanning is DHA, which is dihydroxyacetone. What the DHA is doing is interacting with the amino acids and just that top layer of your skin cells. So it's creating that color and it only lasts a week because we shed those skin cells after a week. I have a form of muscular dystrophy called myotonia muscular dystrophy. It's having the physical challenge not being able to do things that I used to do and getting that tan just brings more life to me. I first got spray tanned for a vacation. I felt so amazing. You know, a lot of the girls on the trip were like, you look great, who did your tan? You, you know, because they know me, they know I'm pale. It makes me feel so much better about myself that I take better care of myself. The first time I got a spray tan, it was about a year ago, and my husband and I were kind of having a rough patch in our marriage, as a lot of couples do, and it kind of triggered a, a new part of our marriage where we both wanted to feel and look healthier. I've actually recommended Spray Chic to my family and my friends. My mom comes, um, all my girlfriends come, um, and it's, it's, it's an amazing place to come to. We all want to look good. We want to feel good from the inside out, but I always say knowledge implemented correctly is so very powerful. Until next week, I'm Peter Nielsen with Peter's Principles.